the Japanese invade uh, Malaya, I was 13 years old. They come one by one with a sword. Then they said, I want kunyang, kunyang. All younger, they drag away. So I put on uh, my brother's clothing. I look like a boy. We could hear stories like our friend uh, daughter was, was kidnapped by Japanese to become their mistress and then that's where they occupy all those buildings, you know. During the night, uh, Japanese soldier will be passing by and all. Then he still will come to my brother and ask, Hey, look, I was hiding you know, on the side there. I was so frightened at that time. This is called Bukit Bubi Road. And behind us, there's the Hokkien Association. Ah, that corner. What was that used for during the war? One of the Kamputan staying there with a Chinese wife. After Japanese born, he married a Chinese man. Then he started uh, hawker food. With the two Japanese daughters, she bore with the Japanese Kamputan. All these roads are the Kampitan will ride with white horse and a sword and there's no car. Anybody pass by must bow them before you pass this area. Interrogated people, uh, those who have crime, they caught, they put him inside there and then they, they take the cigarette butt and burn, burn their, their finger. Um, how many bodies were hung on this tree before? One tree, one body. Five tree, five bodies. But the other three were chopped off, left these two. Can you remember where on the tree it was? Here, on the branches. So someone climbed up and then hung them there? They do, and they, they bring a body and hung them. They hung for five days. I remember how they were hanged with their tongue too long, come out, you know. have a platform so those uh, public say they have to die so that uh, Japanese will put them one by one at the Rory to take it to Chempadak to shoot them. The Lord Chempadak was not developed. It was all full of jungle. That's a small park for bicycle to go through and walking distance to come over to the beach. They already dug a big hole under the present McDonald building so that they make them walk into this jungle. Ask them to stand near all the big holes. They shoot them one by one. And the body will drop into the big hole. Now when we come back to Chunlopada, we think of the people who were killed. That present generation never talks about Japanese occupation. My son's children, they never ask about it. New generation don't care about it. They just know this is the road to Madak, to recycle. Thank you for watching The Last Survivors. If you liked it, please help us out by sharing the videos. It's been a blast shooting The Last Survivors and we've traveled to so many different places and we've learned so many different things. So if you know of any survivors or anyone with an interesting story, please let us know. And if your story is interesting enough, we'll go to you to shoot an episode of The Last Survivor. So leave us a comment or watch more episodes of The Last Survivors at the link below. Thanks guys! <laughs>